Hi, my name's Stephen Jeffers, and we're here at Lagan Homes, and I'm going to cook the perfect salmon dish for you. Salmon's going to have some lovely curry lentils, some spice in it, and then we're going to finish off with a bit of coconut, coriander, and I'm going to get started cooking right away now. So here we are, we've got two lovely salmon fillets, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of rapeseed oil, or vegetable oil, over the salmon, keeping it very simple, and then we're just going to season it lightly with a little bit of salt, both sides. Tiny amount of chilli flakes, if you like more chilli you can put it in. It just livens you. A salmon dish up for you. Straight into our pan, like so. Like that. A little bit of extra oil in there. And from now on what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that um, salmon in my oven for about five to seven minutes. So. So our salmon's going to go straight into our lovely oven here. Good oven proof pan, and it goes. I'm going to leave it there for five minutes and then we're going to rest it for two minutes. While we're doing that I'm going to cook my lentils. So we're going to start our salmon dish off our lentils with our shallots here. And then basically I'm going to get my shallots, cut them down the middle, take off the skin. You probably wonder why do we use shallots. Chefs have a tendency of using shallots because shallots I believe is for work short quick work as opposed to large onions which you would use if you were doing a stew or a stock or anything like that. So we use shallots, they're far more sweeter. Slice our shallots like so. So it's sliced. If you like a wee bit of chilli in it, you can go with a tiny bit of green chilli. Not too much, just a wee bit of spice there. We don't want to overpower that salmon flavour. And then I'm going to get some tomato for it too. Take that little core of the tomato there. And you could use chopped tin tomatoes if you want, but I do like the fresh, I think it really does make a difference. It makes a big difference for the dish. And then we've got our sweet potato and our carrot here. A wee bit of sweet potato diced already. We want to dice up a wee bit of carrot. So lots of lovely vegetables in these lentils. Really quite healthy. And the next thing I'm going to do is just get a bit of ginger and a bit of garlic uh, grated here. So we'll get our grater, grate our ginger. Get some lovely fresh ginger. So if you want a bit of extra garlic, you can put it in. And what we're just going to do now is we're going to start cooking this. So basically we start off with shallots, garlic, ginger, and our carrot and sweet potato first. So a bit of veg oil in our pot. The secret is not to cheat on the oil, but if you cheat on the oil, you end up burning your vegetables and stuff. Okay, and that goes like so. They're spraying in there. Good hot pot. Smell that ginger, it's great. Two spices we're going to use here. We're going to use garam masala, which is an Indian uh, curry spice. And then we're going to use a little bit of turmeric powder for colour. So I'm going to get them sweated down. This here part will take about five to seven minutes. So we're on the lentils here. I'm basically, I've got my lentils cooked out. That's taken about seven minutes there. Got some lovely coconut milk. Going to add the coconut milk into there. Our lentils. These absolutely smell fabulous. So I'm going to give that a wee stir like that. While they're cooking, I'm going to squeeze a bit of lime juice. And then what we're going to do now is cut a bit of coriander. Take the salmon out of the oven, and I'm going to wilt a little bit of spinach in the same pan as the salmon. See if you see it. using a lot of pans up. So cut our lime down the middle like so. Give it a wee bit of a squeeze in there. Gives that wee bit of acidity with the fish, which really works. And then we got some fresh coriander here. So some fresh coriander. Again, not so worried about the stalks, so stalks and all can go in. Always put your herbs in, green herbs like that very last minute. I'm gonna put a wee pinch of sea salt in there. Bring out my salmon. Sitting just perfect for us now. Yeah, it's lovely. Put your salmon like that. As I say, I'm gonna add a little bit of Spinach here. I'm going to put a tiny bit more oil into the pan. I'm trying to avoid the butter in this dish as much as I can. In goes our spinach right there. Cook in the same pan. Looks like an awful lot of spinach, but trust me, when that's cooked down, there'll be very little bit left. It just wilts down. A bit of sea salt with the spinach. Keep moving your spinach. 
hand is a little stir. As you had our herbs on now too. The last thing you want is a wee bit of rawness in the spinach. You want it wilted, but you don't want it overcooked either. You can see how quick that's cooking there. Fabulous. That's the spinach ready to rock, okay? And over here, if you like a wee tiny bit of spice again, you can put a wee tiny bit of spice in that spinach. And put another wee top to this in here to our sauces. A wee bit of tomato paste there helps thicken it up. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plate up this lovely salmon dish. It's a very simple little dish. I also serve this with a dollop of sour cream at home too. This is delicious, so you can always make up a wee bit of sour cream and lime in it, and just chop coriander. So, here we go. Our lentils are ready. So, top of your lentils. So your lentils act as your starch. So there's no spuds needed here, no potatoes needed. Goes. That goes right in the middle. So, and there you go, there's your lovely salmon with your curried lentils and coconut and lime. Be enjoyed.